Here's Chris Spears covering Colorado's forecast for us first this morning. A little bit different scene up there in the high country. It is, and a little different scene down here in the city. We're waking up with some sunshine. It's not going to last all day. Your weather will be changing over time. So kind of put that in the back of your mind. That snow in southwestern Colorado, snowpack numbers are way up down there. Such great news. Teens and 20s just about statewide this morning. We do have a, a 41 at Trinidad due to some wind. 32 in Salida for another warmer area. 28 in Avon and it is 22 this morning in Craig. We're down to 19 at the airport. The Snyder's a half inch of snow over on the Battlement Mesa, a little over an inch in Walden at Mark's house, and we do have uh, some snow here in the high country this morning. If you're in the Front Range foothills, I think these are the higher foothills, like the Peak to Peak Highway up to Estes Park, for instance, uh, up around Eldora, probably a little snow this morning. Pockets of snow on the western slope and in southwestern Colorado. Uh, this heavier burst that you see coming in will be between now and noon, so uh, we do expect deteriorating mountain travel over the next few hours. We do have some wind this morning. Uh, it's not too widespread, but where it's blowing, it's a little gusty. Places like Burlington and Pagosa Springs, for instance, and out toward the Grand Junction and Montrose area. Big, big trough of low pressure. This thing is huge. It goes from California all the way to the Mexican border and then on up to New England. Everybody in the trough on the cool side. This is going to hang out all week for the upcoming week, so get ready for a cool stretch of weather. Uh, the cold air is already seeping into the nation. Look at that, 21 below at International Falls. We won't be that cold, but we are going to tap into this flow of colder air coming out of Canada. It'll slide right down the Rockies. So we have a cold stretch of weather starting this afternoon. <laughs> Want to show you this cam. Glenwood Springs, they have about an inch of new snow. The cam is covered with that wet snow this morning there along I-70. Snow stays in the high country through about noon. Then we'll start to see it decrease to just scattered showers. Eastern side of the state, including Denver, any time this afternoon or evening, we could see a very fast passing snow shower, highest chance south side of town. Uh, I think by overnight into tomorrow, most of the state will have a break other than scattered snow showers in the northern mountains. But then another surge comes through by tomorrow night, and we'll see that snow return. This time, we may get some snow in Denver and the Front Range foothills just in time for that Monday morning commute. Winter weather advisories through noon for most mountain areas. Uh, I'm expecting about two to five inches of additional accumulation. Could be a few higher pockets. And remember, the band of heaviest snow is coming through now till noon. So uh, that I-70 travel is going to go downhill uh, as we move through your morning. Today, 30s and 40s for most of us, some 20s in the higher terrain, and even a few 50s down in southeastern Colorado. Here's the five-day forecast, and it shows the cool down. Basically, Joel, we get a cold front every every day for the next few days. One surge today, another surge tomorrow, another by Monday, and every time those numbers go down even more. Tomorrow night into Monday, I do have a chance of snow in Denver's forecast. So I don't think it's a big snow at this point. We don't feel like it's a major storm, but you don't need a lot of snow to make travel bad on a Monday morning. Yeah, so. that's brutal. Well, luckily it's a holiday. Yes. So we'll, <laughs> that's the advantage that we have there. Yes.